Oh, hi folks, so on a previous video, I don't know how long ago it was anyway, I did a review on this, well how this opens up, this is the Gerber saw and um, I'm going to compare it now, sort of the, the gum boy, silky gum boy and the differences. So without, without hanging on anywhere, going on too much, here we go. So yes it is longer, as you can see a lot longer, but and not narrower so it's almost half the size of the the sheath that the gun boy comes in um secondly what else we got now so we take that out and this is a folding blade this is a folding blade so as you pull it out the blade locks you've got two locking positions on the gun boy i'm not too sure what that one's for but anyway it locks in two positions anybody can tell me let me know in the description the blade on these are phenomenal absolutely phenomenal they are so sharp i believe it's made in japan it's japan steel or something and the way they're designed you can see those teeth i mean they are lethal the only drawback with this saw is it only works really on the backward stroke so you have to put pressure here so you have to put a lot of pressure on, I'll show you that in a minute, when we have a go at cutting some wood. So you have to put pressure on it and draw back, and the, the, the drawing back is the actual cutting stroke, okay? That's one drawback with this, especially if you're a little bit weak in the wrist and whatnot. Not saying we are, but we're all getting a bit older. So that's the one drawback. I don't know about this, because we're going to test this today. So this is the Gerber. Blade comes out. Oh, I'll sh there's a bit of a difference in the blades, and I'll, sh I'll show you that in a minute. Let's get in through. There's a little lock here that you have to pull around, twist him a little bit. What do you mean? Once you've got the angle of it, it's quite straightforward. Now these, I've not even used this before. You can see it's not a touch wood or anything. It's got a sheath that covers it. It's a folding saw, as you just saw. That comes off. Now these blades, I have no idea what they're like. We're going to give it a go. Now, you can buy extra blades for this, they're not too expensive. You can also use any 13 inch blade that you desire. Even an axle blade will fit this. So it makes it quite a versatile bit of kit. Okay, nice rubber handle. And this is both power and return strokes. Okay, whereas like I said, this one isn't. Now these blades are extremely exp expensive, as you can probably guarantee because it's you know, mainly Japan and it's special steel and whatnot. And they are roughly, I would say, three quarters of the price of this saw. So once you've got this saw, these blades are from anything from six pound to 11 pound. You can even buy a pair for 11 pound. Now, depending on what you want and what they cut like, I do not know. But six pound, 26 to 30 pound per blade and this is the gumboy silky uh, 210 all right I think it's like you probably can't see that this is the 210 blade so it's like probably 210 teeth or something like that. look at them right so we're going to give it a quick test on a piece of wood and see how they fare okay so we're not going to skimp on a little piece of wood four inches probably that'll do and we'll give that a go Okay, let's go for the silky first, all right? Might be a bit of wobbling, I'm sorry, but... I don't forget, this blade has been used a lot. Now, I put a lot of pressure on this part against the... So you have to put pressure against the blade on the backward stroke. Pretty good. A lot of pressure on the. Uh, I'm not letting up. That's pretty hard wood as well. That's a hard piece of wood. Whew. And also. A lot of pressure on your hands to do it, so I did that on purpose so we can show you how sharp it is. 
Right, now the Gerber. Now, remember, this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. This is just something I thought would be easier for me. Uh, never used it, as you can see. Let's see. Right, first of all, it's not as... Sorry, break the rock in. I gotta admit, it's exceptionally shot off. Now, I'm not doing something wrong here, but it is quick. I'd say that's a little bit quicker, but yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to, or a different type of blade. That was quite twisted, but apart from that, yeah. Uh, this is quicker. This hmm, is very good actually, and the blade is quite old. Don't worry, I won't be getting rid of this. I might be buying a new blade for this. But also keeping this. Um, that's quite a hard wood, actually. But, uh, yeah, it got me out of breath. <laughs> so, on a par, when you weigh up the odds, I'm going to say it's a draw. A little bit harder. This is quicker. And a little bit more convenient, because you've got the draw and the pull. Uh, this is just nice. <laughs> I still like my silky, I must admit. I mean, I broke the end off this and I put it on my grinder and just tied it all up. So it's quite a versatile saw, to be honest with you. Yeah, I like the, I like the gun boy. I like the Gerber. Gerber, a little bit more difficult, but very convenient. Folds away nicely. So does the gun boy. Personal choice. Up to you. Me, both. And I have got both. Okay, this is easy to replace the blade. Maybe you need a thinner blade like this one to fit on here, 13 inch. These are swappable blades. So it's quite a versatile, but it'll also take an axle blade, I think. Did I mention that? You can take an axle blade as well. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. This is just a review on these two saws. If you enjoyed it, yeah, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Take care, and we'll definitely catch you in the next one. Okay? All the best. Cheers.